How to use GitLab for project management. Hi there, today we'll learn about GitLab and how you'll be using it for managing your projects. What is GitLab? GitLab Agile is a methodology that combines the use of GitLab, a web-based DevOps platform with Agile principles and practices to manage and execute software development projects. It focuses on iterative and incremental development, collaboration, and adaptability to deliver high-quality software in a more efficient and flexible manner. Here's the first thing that you can do is go to your browser and search for GitLab Agile and then you'll be routed into this page where this actually is mainly for um, project management software that you can get for free trial. So you can browse to their homepage on their website on their features that you can take advantage so that you will improve on your project management skills as well. So for us to begin, what you can do is click on get free trial and then you'll be routed into this page wherein you just need to fill out all these details that you need to create your own account. So you'll need to write in your company name, number of employees, your country and a telephone number as well and then all, once everything has been filled out you can go ahead and click on continue and then here you can create a group name and then just click on next and then there you have it. Once you have filled out all these informations, you'll be able to access GitLab Agile for 30 days for free. And after that, you may um, need to subscribe for you to be able to use this platform. So here, this is the dashboard. This is where you will be able to um, preview or track your projects so this is where you can create a new subgroup or you can create a new project here and on the left side panel of the screen you'll be able to see the different features and the tools that you can take advantage or that you can use for your projects so here you have group informations where you will be able to come browse into your activities your labels and your members here on this platform so you can actually invite your members as well just by inputting their email address and the like so here you also have these details here where you will be able to under epics you can browse into lists your boards or roadmap so you'll be able to track on the progress of your projects here on GitLab. So here, roadmap shows you progress of your epics along a timeline so you'll be able to track on what are done, what are um, unfinished works as well. So here on the issues, you'll be able, similar to epics, you'll be able to look at into list view, board view, milestones, or iterations. So all of these um, informations as well are for you to be able to track the issues if it has been resolved or not. Here you also have merge request, so you will be able to propose changes that you've made to a project and discuss the changes to others as well. So it also is the key or you're able to collaborate with your other team members on what to do with that specific project or if you have a new idea to improve either project better. So here under security and compliance, you have your security dashboard, vulnerability report, compliance reports, policies, and audit events. So this is where you will be able to create the reports if ever there's an issues that you have or there's a need for your team members to comply. And here on the policies, you will be able to build 
your rules and your regulations on your project management of do's and don'ts and here as well is where you will be able to manage the audits to check on their works whether they are following the policies that you have so here you have CICD you also have the package packages and registries rather so you have here the package registry container registry and depository registry as well so these informations were will help you track your inventory whether you have um, a few informations or you have a few um, files that you will receive or you need to work on so here under analytics you will be able to look into the value stream the basically the status of these informations that are below analytics so you will be able to see how GitLab analyzes your value stream contributions CI CD the insights the DevOps adoptions your issues, productivity, and your reg registry as well. So here actually it will provide you once you click in a specific um, part of your project management, when you scroll down, you will be able to look into graphs or different types of analytics on how or what is the status or how your project management approved while using your um, GitLab account. So you'll be able to monitor on what things to improve on and what things that you were good at that would help you use that as a tool to improve your project management or your projects better. So here under productivity analytics, you'll be able to view among your members who, um, what were the projects that were, um, you can put it as the most um, product or you can have a member who was the most productive and then here the next step is wiki this is actually um, this lets you write documentations for your group where you can store all the details about your group and this includes um, information like what the group is all about or what are the notes that you can input there as well on key term um key learnings as well that you can integrate there as well so here under settings this is where you will be able to modify your own account whether um under general accounts on how your account would look like and the security as well you'll be able to modify the integrations the web books that you have added into your account the access tokens, your projects, say CD, your applications, your packages, so a lot more information. So depending on which project or which part of your work you want to uh, um, uh, modify so that it would fit into your project more or it fits into your liking, you can just go to your settings and go to the specific part of the year. Um, specific part of the settings that you can that you want to change so that it would help you use it better as well so here what i'm trying to do is that i'm trying to create a subgroup so a good thing here in gitlab is that you can actually create a subgroup within a subgroup and you can even either add a project or a subgroup within a subgroup so for example like what i did here under um, research i did a new project where i name it product design so that's an example so my group name is uh, i created the account earlier with k wong so those that was the main group name that I have. So what I'm creating here is creating the subgroup and then creating projects under the subgroup that I created. So as you can see here, 
you will be able to create a project then for example you want to create product design you can definitely incorporate that here as well so as you can see under kwalk kwonks that has research under and then under research you have the project management so as you can see under research there are two projects and or one project and one sub group as well and another thing here is when you want to create another subgroup that is not under research you can simply just click on key k wonks rather and then just click on new project or new segment and then that would be on a separate um, file or in a separate folder that you have so it will not be mixed up with the first subgroup that you've created so for example here I created another subgroup which is market research so under market research I will be able to um, add a few more details or projects that I have or I will be able to add a subgroup under that as well and that's basically it that's how you'll be able to use GitLab for your project management and that's the end of the video thank you for watching bye